This is how you can make a read-only property in Swift. In other words, a property with a public getter and a private setter. Right here, I have a pants struct with a color property. So let's make another struct. It's going to be a person because we want that person to have some favorite pants. Favorite pants. Just like that. So now we'll make a new person. Uh, Scott, that's me. We'll say person. And we'll say favorite pants. Pants. And we'll say the color is gray. That's cool. So to show that you can get these favorite pants, you say, Scott, favorite pants. Right there, you can get the property. So let's try to set it again. Scott, favorite pants. All right, let's change those pants. Panic, in, whoa, panic net. Maybe I should panic when I'm changing my pants. Okay, the new pants are green. Yikes. Okay, but that's okay. But we want this read only. So let's change this to private, open, close parentheses, and set. So now you can get it, but you can no longer set it.